welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fiery world of volcanology, exploring the incredible structure of volcanoes, their various types, the intriguing connection between tectonic plates and volcanoes, and even a countdown of the top 10 biggest volcanoes in the world by height. But first, let's embark on a journey to the heart of a volcano. Volcanoes, these awe-inspiring geological marvels, are truly a testament to Earth's dynamic nature. The internal structure of a volcano is amazing, and it's the key to understanding their explosive behavior. Now, take a look at this illustration. A volcano is composed of several essential elements. The magma chamber, this acts as a reservoir for magma from the Earth's mantle. It's a critical component that, when emptied after an eruption, can lead to the formation of a caldera. Magma chambers are typically located between 10 and 50 kilometers deep in the lithosphere. The vent, this is the conduit that carries magma from the chamber to the surface. The crater or caldera, it's the opening on the surface where volcanic materials escape. The secondary volcanic vents, these can branch off from the main vent and give rise to smaller parasitic cones. Now, let's explore the various types of volcanoes. Fissure Volcano These form from linear openings in the Earth's crust, allowing fluid lava to escape. Oceanic ridges are a prime example. Shield Volcano Their broad, gentle slopes are a result of fluid lava flow. The Mauna Loa in Hawaii is a classic example. Dome Volcano These massive volcanic domes are created by slow eruptions of highly viscous lava. The Puy de Dome in France is a well-known example. Volcanic cones, also known as cinder cones. These result from eruptions of small pieces of scoria and pyroclastics. They're typically built up around the vent. One notable example is Paracutan in Mexico. Stratovolcanoes, also known as composite volcanoes. These are known for their explosive eruptions and conical shape, made up of lava flows and other ejecta. Mount Fuji in Japan is a famous stratovolcano. Caldera volcanoes. These are characterized by large depressions that form due to the collapse of rocks above a magma chamber. A prime example of a caldera volcano is the Yellowstone caldera. And finally Mar. These are lower leaf volcanic craters created by phreatomagmatic eruptions, often forming shallow crater lakes. The Lacher Sea volcano in Germany is a well-known example. Now, let's shift our attention to the incredible relationship between tectonic plates and volcanoes. The world map shows us the close connection between tectonic plate boundaries and volcanic activity. Most volcanoes are linked to these boundaries. We have three main categories. At divergent plate boundaries, tectonic plates move apart, thinning the Earth's crust. As this happens, mantle rocks, already hot, partially melt due to decompression, creating magma that infiltrates through normal faults. This process is responsible for the formation of features like oceanic ridges and pillow lava. Continental rifts exhibit a similar process, albeit without the underwater lava flow. At convergent plate boundaries, tectonic plates overlap and the oceanic lithosphere plunges into the mantle and undergoes transformation. Water within the descending lithosphere escapes and hydrates the mantle, causing partial melting and the formation of magma. This magma then rises, creating volcanoes. If the overlapping lithosphere is oceanic, it leads to the formation of island volcanic arcs. If it's continental, volcanoes appear on the continent itself, often in mountain ranges. The Pacific Ring of Fire is a prime example of this scenario. Sometimes, volcanoes appear far from plate boundaries, and that's where hot spots come into play. Hot spots are plumes of magma rising from the mantle. As the lithospheric plate moves over the fixed hot spot, it creates a trail of aligned volcanoes. The Hawaiian Islands are a classic example of hot spot volcanoes. But there's more. In rare cases, a hot spot can intersect with a plate boundary, creating unique volcanic formations. Iceland is an excellent example of this phenomenon. And speaking of hot spots, let's explore one of the most famous volcanic regions on Earth. The Pacific Ring of Fire is a horseshoe-shaped region encircling the Pacific Ocean, 
home to a high concentration of volcanoes. These volcanoes are situated exclusively along the coasts or islands and align with tectonic plate boundaries and faults, often marked by ocean trenches. Now, let's count down the top 10 biggest volcanoes in the world by height. In the 10th place, we have Tipas, located in the Andes on the border between Argentina and Chile, with an elevation of 6,670 meters, 21,880 feet. And in the top spot, we find Mauna Kea, in Hawaii, with a staggering 4,207 meters, 13,803 feet, above sea level. However, when we consider its submerged part, it reaches a jaw-dropping total height of 10,203 meters, 33,474 feet, surpassing even Mount Everest. What an incredible journey through the world of volcanology. We've explored the fascinating structure and types of volcanoes, their connection to tectonic plate boundaries, and even the top 10 tallest volcanoes on Earth. If you're as amazed as we are by these geological wonders, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting science content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Until our next adventure, stay curious and stay safe.